looks great, Helena. It tastes good, looks good. It tastes good, look good. Oh, peanut butter, stunning. What did you put in it? Mango banana spinach. Mm. Some chocolate protein. A teaspoon of peanut butter. Mm -hmm. I mean, this is your best one. Yeah. Are you proud? When it came out, I was like, this is ice cream. Proud moment in the Another Townhouse. Yeah, got some photos going on the Insta. Mmm, superstar. Good morning, guys, and happy Friday. Well, when I'm filming it, it is friday i'm just getting myself ready i'm just about to do my hair quickly with you guys i'm using the ghd rise this is just so amazing and just such a nice easy quick way to style your hair it's like a little hot brush which is amazing so i just like to run this through the ends of my hair i try not to touch the top of my hair just because i don't want to add too much damage and i've just blow dried it so i'm making sure it's like all good but yeah i'm about to do my friday get ready with me i think i'm just gonna do it on my stories usually i do a live i think i'm gonna do a live next week and i'm actually gonna have my friend tula join me we're just gonna do a get ready with me together which will be cute but i'm gonna do a quick one today because i've got a lot to get done before I go for lunch, you know. And yeah, me and Hal's are going to go for lunch, which would be really nice. And trial out a place in Clapham called Number 32. So that'll be really lovely. It's supposed to be a really lovely day. So I've got a bit of filming to do today. I have a couple of meetings. And yeah, really exciting. So I'll probably put you on a time lapse because it's quite easy, this styling. I'm literally just brushing through my hair and then it just giving it a little flick at the end and then I'll leave it. But yeah, I'm gonna put you on a time lapse whilst I finish this off. Also, I'm using the Way hair products. Oh, <laughs> nearly threw it then. This is the heat protection spray. So I've already sprayed my hair when, when I was drying it with a hairdryer. I put in the Electric London pea spray. It's really good. Um, and that's a bit more of a wet, liquidy spray. And then I put on my, what is it called? Like a frizz oil from this brand, Live and Proof. They've got like this frizz oil and it's incredible. And I think that's really helped my hair calm down, like just on my roots. But then when I go in with the GHD rise, I use this heat protection spray. It's like a spray, but it's so lightweight. So I really like doing it because you know when you spray your hair with a wet hairspray and it's a bit too wet. That makes sense. So I'm just going to spray it over. Kind of like a hairspray. Yeah, really good. about this heat tool is it's so good at catching the back i always really struggle to curl the back and where my crown is my mum has the same problem we've got we always miss it and it's, it gets really curly and frizzy and i just absolutely love this hair tool for that because it can just pick it up with the brush so it's just so handy and i just love the volume it gives it because it's not flat packing it down into a straightener i just think this gives such a lovely style styling to your hair which i just think is incredible <laughs> Using the Penhaligon's Duchess Rose today. So beautiful. Smells incredible. So I've just done my Friday get ready with me. I'm gonna film some content now. So I will probably not see you guys until um, I go out for lunch. But the Friday get ready with me stories went really well, which was so lovely. And I'm really loving this makeup. I feel like it just went on my face so nicely. And I used some new Clarence products, which was just so lovely. I'm just trying them out before I do the live with them. I think it's in two weeks time. When this goes live, the day after, Wednesday, 
Wednesday. It will, I'll be doing the makeup look, so definitely go and check that out. And then maybe in the following vlog, I will do a makeup get ready with me and show you the Clarins products that I've been loving. So if you do want to see that, just let me know, comment down below, or um, come message me on Instagram. But yeah, I've got to crack on with some content to film before I get to sip on some Aperol Spritz. Oh yeah. Right, so I'm ready to go. I've just put on my some black linen chino trousers with some converses. Got like a little racer body on underneath and a cardigan and a coat because it's going to be cold outside. Hopefully they'll just have some blankets as well. And then the coat is from Fall from Reckless from their recent collection. My Chloe bag, some sunglasses. Oh, I got some really lovely, excuse my ex mum, my ex was so bad at the moment. Some really lovely rings from Adastra. They've done a collection with the lovely Melissa from Me and Chelsea and she kindly sent some over. So they're really lovely and I just love the kind of style of them. They're really pretty. So I thought I'd wear those today as well. So yeah, this is my outfit of the day. I'm so excited to go for lunch. We are so excited! We're off. Feed <laughs> out! We're Feed lunching! Out. We're Feed lunching! Out. Neither of one of us is cooking! It's not coming in a box! Got that the back! We're gonna have gonna gin tonic, wines, it's gonna be China! I cannot wait! Cheers, my love! <laughs> <laughs> For size. For size. <laughs> yeah. Helen has already gone in. <laughs> so good. Oh yeah. Can do the the pop of the poach. Oh look at that, Babs. Stunning. <laughs> Absolutely divine. Oh, unreal. So I've just finished my call with Clarence. Oh my god, I'm so rosy. I had two gin and tonics at lunchtime and I'm <laughs> feeling it. Honestly, I was just saying how like, when you, like, because you're not getting up, you're not going anywhere and you're just sitting there, you just, it hits you quite instantly. Um, but I've just had a black coffee whilst I was on my meeting and I've just been just updating everything. It's half free now. So I thought I would do a home unboxing with you guys and just get some bits out and start decorating the place because I've pretty much done everything that I needed to get done for today. Um, so yeah, no, really exciting. So I think I will go through with that with you guys in a minute. I've just got to send off some bits to my management and then I'll catch you guys up. So just waiting for one of my jobs to upload. So I thought I'd do a little bit of um, a home haul with you guys. Um, I have actually just received a parcel from All Plants, which is really exciting. They kind of got in contact with me to trial out their products. They do, I think they do uh, vegan, I think it's like 100% plant-based um, meals and they are like ready-made meals but like obviously high nutritional value and um, very healthy very fresh and they're pretty much designed for the freezer which is ideal for me in house because we do love to cook so to have ready-made meals in the fridge it's obviously a great like amazing but we love to cook but to have the ease of having food in the freezer ready to go when we are on some days where we just we really just want something easy to make this is perfect so i thought i would unbox this with you thank you for being part of our little movement we hope you love every meal it is our mission to, it's our mission to help people and the planet thrive Eating plants is the most impacted way to reduce your environment footprint and with only a quarter of us enjoying our five a day boosts, we're here to make it easy to try. I'm so excited. Espresso. I just had a black one. I was just like, I feel like the milk would be just too heavy. Um, but yeah, I'm going to unbox this with you and show you what we've got inside. Very exciting. Very exciting. Okay, so we have, oh, we got the tempeh rendang curry. Yes! The guys from All Plants did send us like a list of, so basically you can pick from different meals of what you would like. So we picked the tempeh um, rendang curry. We got two of these and they look incredible. The menu. The menu was really good. Oh, I completely forgot what we ordered. We ordered the shepherd's pies. 
Oh, they oh. look nice. They look just, they look like a good portion as well. And the ones we've picked as well are also gluten free. They do cater for allergies. You can just add in like your filters of um, like allergies, dietary prefer pref preferences. Someone's had two drinks. And then the barbecue burrito bowl, barbecue jackfruit and roasted pepper with Tex Mex rice and refried beans. Oh, that sounds these are incredible. So a massive thank you to all parts. I don't think I have a code, but um, if I do, I'll leave a link down below. Massive thank you to them. This is so exciting. So good. Very no fleece. Yeah, so it keeps them all cool. Oh. Great! As you can tell by the title of the video, it is a H&M haul. I did a bit of a H&M haul the other week online and then for the first time ever, I went into the H&M haul shop, H&M home shop. Honestly, it is beautiful. It has everything there, everything which is like on H&M home online, which is out of stock. It's literally, the shop is full of it. So if you are looking to really shop at H&M home, definitely go into the store. It is incredible. It has everything. It's amazing. So I thought I'd do a little bit of an unboxing with you, show you what I've got. And then, yeah, I'll put them into place with you guys and show you the good deals I've got. So first up, I got some napkins. I feel like that's a bit of a silly one, but I really want to, me and House are going to do like a little bit of a brunch on Sunday and just make it a little fancy. And then obviously as well, we've got our really lovely um table outside in the garden we share so i just saw these and i thought they were really sweet and go with some linen tablecloths i've ordered and they were only £1.99 and they're such a pretty print i think that's just so lovely so i got those i also got a little chopping board more so for like decoration in the kitchen and also when we do like a table layout i thought that'd be quite sweet and again this was only this was eight pounds so that was really good really affordable and it just looks so sweet i did think about putting it right next to the olive oil i've seen it in a pinterest picture that i like so that's what i had in mind i also got this little trinket bowl i just thought this would be really nice for i do anything condiments dips olive anything like that so i thought that was really sweet and it just looks really like rustic and that was only six pounds and i just thought that was really lovely and as well i do lots of filming of like smoothie bowls and things like that and i really want to get into filming a bit more like making hummus a bit more of those style recipes for reels and i thought this was like a really nice bowl um, for styling so I picked that up. I just thought they were really nice pieces just to add to the house and they're inexpensive really beautiful pieces and yeah so next up I got a little vase this was a really good deal I think this was only £12 but we we do have a couple of vases but we don't actually have a clear one and a little one as well they're quite large the other one so I thought I might as well pick this up and I really love the style of it. It's so beautiful. The medium side, they had size, they had a little one and a large one, which I think would actually look really lovely if you had like an array of like bouquets of flowers. That would look so stunning. But I like this size. I thought that was quite good if you wanted. I just bought some, um, a bunch of tulips. So I thought that would look really cute in there. And it's only a small bunch, so it's not going to feel like a bit odd. It's just going to fill them up really lovely. And I love the, um, the structure of this. I feel like they're going to be sitting up quite nicely so i got that so that was that i think i'm gonna keep all of this i just wanted to look at these online and just see what they were like but i ordered some kind of like rattany straw table mats but i don't actually like them they're okay just like these nice nude ones but i'm not too sure if i'll keep them what i might do is like decorate the table see if it works and if it doesn't i will return them i ordered some tablecloths like i said so i'll try them out with you i got this like nice kind of beigey gray kind of like a taupe linen tablecloth i got it in a white as well and then i got a smaller version like a table runner which, and i think that one was quite inexpensive i think that one was eight pounds the others were 30 pounds i also got oh so cute i ordered this like little shell duo gold bowl which actually looks really lovely with the little bowl i got um that looks so sweet really lovely in the summer and i just thought that would be really nice for i don't know like sauces or you could put little candle lights in there or uh, like 
like some nuts. I don't know, I just thought that was really cute. And it was, I don't know how much it was, but I just thought that was really lovely, even if it's not for the kitchen. It'd actually be quite nice in the bedroom for like jewelry, little trinkets. Like a little trinket tray. And then I got, oh yeah, I got a little matching shower. <laughs> Bless myself. I got a little matching shell china plate, which I thought was really sweet as well. Again, that would actually be really nice as like a serving spoon shell. Or these would actually be quite nice as like a salt and pepper tray. I thought that was really sweet. And then, yeah, really lovely. This would be really nice anywhere in the kitchen, in the bathroom, in the bedroom. I think that's just so sweet and just so like a lovely addition. Really cute. Could be for like lemons. Could do a big paella and then that could be like like your little lemon tray. So cute. Oh, happy with that. Do you know what? I don't even know what this is. I think it's a vase, which I'm definitely gonna have to return because your girl doesn't need all these vases. But if it's cute, you know. Oh, it's a pot plant. A plant, oh my God, this is huge. Yes, I remember I bought this now. <laughs> I ordered this for my fig tree, fig leaf plant which i probably it's probably still could use um or we could use it for one of the plants down there but it was really reasonable as well i think it was only 17 pounds 15 pounds or 17 pounds and i just really liked the style of it uh, it was really pretty but yeah i don't think i need it anymore so that will definitely go back but a really nice vase and they did do like an array of them which go together which is quite nice so if you have like a few pop um plants that you can easily plant in you like them to be quite matchy matchy that was really lovely so i would really recommend that okay so i thought i would trial these out with you and just get an idea um so as you saw we got these new chairs this table will be going at some point but we're still in the hunt for a table we've we kind of planning to get a circle one because when we get rid of the other armchair I think that will really like use up the space, utilize the space really lovely and just to be a bit more flowy. So yeah, so I wanted to get something for this table just to like, you know, have a bit of fun. This one ago, this one was a little bit more less expensive as it's not, as you can see, it's not a full cover. My only thing is, is like I said, is that we might be getting a circular table. So I don't want to buy something and then it doesn't suit the place, but that's quite long. I mean, it looks nice, but it looks silly. Like the whole point of it was to kind of get something which could cover it. Really lovely material though. And I do love the frame on the end. I think that looks really sweet, but I, I kind of wanted to hide the legs but i really love the detail of it it's got this really lovely mixture of gray and cream fraying around the edge which is really pretty huge yeah that's too big i mean that's beautiful i love the color but i think the fabric's a little bit too big but yeah i definitely love that color that's really lovely well that's a shame so that was what size was that 140 by 200 yeah that's too big that looks so pretty though in the summer but yeah i definitely need to get a smaller size oh yeah that's even bigger oh that was a fail That's a cute little. Yeah. It's like a place. Yeah. Soderizer. Housing for Moof Glass Heaven right now. Oh look, look at those little ones. They're like your champagne yeah. ones, aren't they? Those. The funny thing is, they're so expensive. Are they? 
nine pounds. Oh, look at these ones. Oh, I like the. Yeah, this, but a little bit. Oh. <gasps> it's like because they're cut glass, aren't they? Yeah. These are like your yes, spinnies. <gasps> Look at the gold ones. Oh, oh wow. Oh, there's so much choice. <laughs> the vermouth girl cannot decide. I'm gonna have to have vermouth if I buy something today as well. <laughs> With our roast dinner. Unreal. A little cluster of haven. So we kind of want to hunt for vermouth glasses, a nice. gravy, a gravy jug. jug, and a oh my god, house the green one. So cute. There's only one. So we're on the hunt for like vermouth glasses. House really wants some vermouth glasses and has has done since we signed over our hat like, to get the place in Clapham. And then we're just kind of having a look. Everything's open now, which is really lovely. We're just having a little browse. We've just been for drinks. And um, yeah, we're just enjoying that we can go into shops, which is just the nicest thing. And this place is just full of vermouth glasses, but very expensive. This is so pretty. So I'm kind of loving this. Yeah. Like very delicate. So we've just came out of an antique. What was the antique shop called, my love? Um, Norco Antiques Market. <laughs> Literally. Oh, there. is it? Um, so we've just been there, and then what's the time? It's like four o'clock now. So we're just kind of like going in and out yeah. because, like, I feel like people being outside. Oh, lemon tree. Oh, like we're like exploring a bit more. So now we've gone down like a street around Northcote, which is just the cutest thing. And like even like there was a pottery shop open, and people were sitting outside in the sun painting pottery. And I thought that was the cutest thing in the world. But it's just so lovely around here. So we're we're heading back, kind of like walking, making our way back home, but kind of like slowly and in and out. Wow. So look at these little apartments. Northcote area is just the sweetest. Oh, should we go down here? There's like yeah. loads of shops. Um, but we're gonna have a roast. I think we're gonna have an early one because we had a, a little bit to drink. Had a, and, uh, a drink oh, okay. Yeah, it's been a lovely weekend, hasn't it, Babs? Yeah. We've had a very full on weekend. But yeah, we're gonna have a very chilled now Sunday afternoon, which yeah. would be lovely.